the prosthetics on Brendan Fraser are outstanding. There are just some scenes in this world. I was like, oh my god, man, this is like, poof, this is in, this is intense. Yo, so your boy went to the London Film Festival to um, watch this movie, The Whale, you know. Um, so a lot of been, has been said about this film, you know. And I think, you know, I wanted to do this as like a non-spoiler review, just like a, a recap on the movie. Um, so I don't really want to give too much away, you know. So really, like, for me, my anticipation for watching this was really um, Aronofsky. I think the guy has one of the best resumes out there. You know, you know, you want Pi, you want Wrecking for a Dream, you want the Fancy, you want the Wrestler, you want Black Swan, you want Mother, you want Noah. This guy has an amazing. Well, I th I feel the best, one of the best resumes of any director, man. Um, so I was like, okay, look, because he he always does things that are different, and his films are always very, very, very different from from one another. So really, he really likes to just be very diverse. So and Brendan Fraser, you know, again for guys of a certain age, you say Brendan Fraser. I for me, I think. When I think Brendan Fraser, it's bedazzled. Most guys will say the mommy, or I think it's Encino Man with um, that comedian dude. I've forgotten his name, but for me, it's bedazzled, which I actually saw in the cinema. You know, with Liz Hurley, hilarious film, and I think he was amazing in that. So, not really seen much of him. So this seems very much like a Pulp Fiction, Tarantino, John Travolta kind of thing. Like the guy has been out of the spotlight. He comes back because oh my gosh, blow Brendan Fraser. So about the film, um, again, I don't want to give too much away, but let me just give you broad strokes. So it's about a guy who is obese, very, very obese. Something happens to him in his life, which leads to him just having, just eating excessively. And this is pretty much resulting in, it's now threatening his life based on how obese he is. So knowing that he may, he may be close to death, he, he, he wants to try to, reconnect with his daughter who he hasn't really seen because um he's been divorced and to add upon that um he is a homosexual so he um so he broke he, he basically he divorced his wife or rather his wife divorced him when he pretty much had a relationship with one of his students um who's obviously male so um that's when homosexuality caused the, the, the divorce. So that's just an extra thing to put in with the whole obesity that's in there, you know. And I think the, when, when it starts, you're in. <laughs> because like, when it starts, you're like, okay, 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 we're in. Okay, we're, we're, we're really doing this. I think, look, the best... I want to talk about the good points and the bad points. That's why I like. So good, good points. The prosthetics on Brendan Fraser are outstanding. You know, some of the best I've seen recently is Gary Oldman in The Darkest Hour when he played Char Churchill. But the prosthetics on Brendan Fraser are freaking amazing, man. Um, because I was watching like the interview with Aronofsky and I said, no, no, they wanted, you know how you see all these fat suits and they're just there just to make, it's very excessive and not very real. The the stuff, because there are times where I'm like, bro, this looks like real. You know, when you just look at the stuff around his neck and everything and we just see him walking and so forth, you're like, man, it's, because I think there was, you could, you could just feel the kind of reaction in the audience when you see him stand up and you just see his full body because like wow like that is geez like they really went there um there's some very very intense moments in this film like it's very intense you know and there's some harsh words that are said and things get very low you know and i think it's definitely one of those things where you know um it's addresses you know people who eat excessively due to depression, you know. And there are people like that who, like, based on something that may have happened in their life, they just can't stop eating. So it's really about investigating that aspect of obesity and what causes obesity and what causes people to really spiral out of control and just eating like crazy. And there are just some scenes in this where I was like, oh, my God, man, this is, like, this is, in, this is intense. When you just see him just really spiral into his depression and so forth. And... Um, and there's some very interesting scenes because I think one of the really strong performances for me is played by somebody who basically cares for him. I think she's called Hong Chao, I believe. And she plays a character called Liz. And I thought she was really, I thought she was one of the best things in the film. Just how she played that character and just how honestly and realistically she played that character. I just thought she was great. And the dynamic between her and him, because again, I don't want to give too much away, but there is 
something about the relationship that you see revealed in the film that you're like, oh, geez, that now takes it to another level, you know. Um, again, I think has his daughter, she does a really good job as well. I think she's an up and comer. She does a really good job as well, and they have some very intense scenes. And then there's a guy who's from like the the missionary as well, and he has some intense scenes with them. So I think definitely the and also you see the Brendan Fraser thing. I'm sort of in a plot and manners with. You have to have emotional reactions to his performance, you know, because I can see why Arnowski chose him. Because Arnowski, look, this guy, you know, he's worked with you know Russell Crowe, Jared Leto, um, Nasty Portman, Mickey Rock, you know, he's worked with some some top 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 top, top guys. So it's um, Javier Bardem. So when you say, okay, Brendan Fraser, like, that's, that's a very kind of, that's not the kind of anti you'd think that he'd work for because Brendan Fraser isn't known for dramatic roles. He was known for big budget movies like The Mummy or comedies. So this was similar to how, that's why it's like pop fiction, similar to how when Tarantino brought on John Travolta. Travolta was just known for like the cheesy kind of movies and so forth. He wasn't known for like real hardcore indie dramas. So this was a really interesting, one that he chose him, but I cannot see why he chose him because you just you feel for him, and I just think that Brendan Fraser he just makes you really feel empathy for the character, and you and you're on your rooting for him to succeed. You're like man, you know, come on, bro, if one and everything. But then it's like on the manner side, it's like because again, I think to myself that is this more about the how good the prosthetics is or how good his acting is because I compare it to. Gary Oldman in the darkest hour. Because we look at him and they're like, yeah, the, the, the prosthetics in that are amazing. But you can see the acting technicalities that Gary Oldman has, which are amazing. And I think of that bomb-ass film, um, that brick mo movie, um, oh gosh, was basically, I can't remember, I don't even know, oh, Gucci, with that loser, Jared Leto, who had amazing prosthetics. The prosthetics that he had in Gucci was freaking amazing. He pulled off one of the worst performances I've ever seen in recent memory. was Garbage. So for Brendan Fraser, he was good. Let's be, he was good. He was good. He was very good in the emotional scenes. But I think that people may be overrating how good he is. And what I do feel, and I think it is just what it is. When you hear his story, I mean, this guy was sexually abused by a guy. Another guy, a guy who worked for the Hollywood Foreign Press and so forth. And we just look at what's happening in his personal life with his, his divorce. I think people are definitely maybe adding that to the kind of way that they, they view his performance. For me, I separate both things. He was good, but I don't think that he's as good as people are making that out to be. Another point as well is, this was a play to begin with. And I do feel that, you know, whenever you're adapting, like a play and a film, they are completely different mediums. Very, very different me me mediums, you know. Because when you have plays, it's a lot more talk. Talky, talky, talky. There's no more talk. In films, you have to have less talk. You have to peel away the fat and it's and you it's, it's going to be much more cerebral and much more sub subliminal and i just felt that maybe there was a bit too much talking and i felt that maybe they could have been much more dynamic in how they told the story because there, there are times where it felt very much like oh this is just you're just adapting a play and it felt so much like a play whereas i like, no, no, this should really be a film but really apart from that man i think like basically overall you have i think it's a film you have to watch based on what it says about obesity and what it says about homophobia, you know, um, and how we view and how we view and religious organizations view homosexuals and how we as a society view people who are obese and how we judge people who are obese. So for that, it's it's it's, it's definitely a monster. And I do feel that for like once it's released out, yeah, you're going to have a, a very interesting reaction to it. So no, look, it was it was an intense watch. It was an intense watch. I felt it was a bit cheesy in bits. Because I felt that like this film could have been, this film could have been like Elephant Man, if you've seen that. If it should have really played out like Elephant Man, but I think it's definitely played more into the more hopeful and cheesy side. It, it wasn't fully cheesy, but the, a few cheesy bits I felt ah, you could have handled that better. But overall, good movie, very intense film, and yeah, it's gonna be, a, it's, it's, it's definitely gonna be one that's gonna make a lot of people very emotional, you know. So 